everybody, yeah, yeah, rock your body, yeah, yeah, everybody, rock your body tonight, yeah, gators back, all right, oh yeah, and I'm a little fucking pissed off. Today on Gator Rants, I'd like to talk about everybody thinking that everyone else is in charge of filtering their kids. So the thing that prompted me to finally make this video, because there's been a few things over the years that have bothered me, but the big thing is this new thing about Kathy Griffin and her horrible joke with the bloody head, Donald Trump thing. Just an awful joke. It was a horrible gag. Awful. She should apologize. Sure. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. But it's not that that I really want to rant about. What I want to rant about is the whole thing where everyone's trying to make you feel guilty because the 11-year-old Baron Trump saw that. He saw that, and he is traumatized. Well, I'd like to say, get your kid off the fucking internet. Because if that traumatizes him, he's in for a rude fucking awakening when he fucking starts traveling around a little bit more on the fucking internet. How the hell does he have access to even see Kathy Griffin holding that up? Who the fuck's showing it to him? Or who the fuck's sitting there letting him just go wherever the fuck he wants on the internet? He's 11 years old, people. Filter your fucking kids. You know, the thing that originally got me onto this whole entire topic was, I can't remember how long ago, was it was a year, maybe two years ago, Kim Kardashian, who I don't care for. Don't think she's entertaining. Not sure why everyone finds her so fucking hot. She's okay. And I also don't understand why she's so fucking famous. What, what does she do? What does she fucking do? I have no fucking clue. Anyways, she posted pictures of herself naked with like some black bars over her boobies so she doesn't show her nipples and over her vagina so she doesn't show the old JJ off. And she posted those on Twitter or something. And all these mothers, all these people are going nuts like, my daughter is only 12 years old, she saw that picture, and now she's changed for life. She's never going to be the same again. She's traumatized. She thinks that that's what her body needs to look like. And after seeing those new pictures, she also thinks she should be posting herself naked everywhere. Okay, guys. Uh, same fucking argument, it's not Kim Kardashian or Kathy Griffin's job to filter your fucking kids. That's one person's job and that's, it's yours. You're the parent. You're the mother. You're the father. Filter your fucking kids. Don't let your kids just roam the goddamn internet. And if you are going to let them roam the internet, be over their shoulder watching to see what the fuck they're looking at. If my kid, if I tell my kid he can have free range on YouTube, and he goes on YouTube, and he discovers iDubs TV, and he here he starts walking around my house using the N-word constantly. I'm go and what am I gonna do? Make a post, make a video going, God damn you, iDubs TV. God, God damn you, iDubs TV. If it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for your irresponsibility, my kid wouldn't be running around saying the N-word. I think that as of today, we need to take iDubs TV down. And any other channel where they're using the N-word, it needs to be just wiped off the face of the goddamn earth. No, because that's fucking retarded, right? No, it's not iDub's job to filter my 10-year-old son. It's not iDub's job to filter my 5-year-old son. It's not Kathy Griffin's job to filter 11-year-old boy. And it's not Kim Kardashian's job to filter any fucking buddy either. Let's face the facts, people. We live in a society where we want to blame everybody else for our problems. We never want to take any of the responsibility for ourselves. We're all so innocent. We're innocent. I've never done anything wrong. If it wasn't for the media, if it wasn't for all these celebrities and all these comedians out there ruining my kids, uh, everything would be fine, right? 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 It really pisses, it really just pisses me off. Because it makes no fucking sense that you think, even for a moment, that it's someone else's job to filter your child. Because that's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. Because, like I said in the beginning of this, I'm not a liberal, I'm not a conservative, Un unlike the rest of you fucking idiots in this country, I don't put myself into a box, therefore I can, I'm free to just make whatever decision I want. Oh shit, Gator, you just pissed everybody off, there goes all your views, fuck you. Anyways, that was a bit off topic, my point being, this whole Kathy Griffin thing, she, she was never funny to begin with, so the fact that she made another unfunny fucking joke shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. It shouldn't, this shouldn't have even been a story. It should have been something we all ignored and pushed off. In my opinion, she's more famous now than she's ever fucking been. I mean, I've seen more about her in the past fucking week than I've seen my entire fucking life, and she's been doing shit probably since before I was born. You know Sean Bean? I don't know if you guys know who Sean Bean is. He's been in a billion fucking movies. He was in Game of Thrones. He was in National Treasure. He was in uh, The Hitcher. He was in uh, Equilibrium. The one thing, though, that Sean Bean has uh, in common with himself in every single role that he takes, it seems like, is he dies. 
There's a video on YouTube that's like, I don't know, six minutes long. I don't fucking know. I believe it's titled, Sean Bean Dies in Everything. It's just six minutes, or like what I said, whatever, how many, however long it is, of him dying over and over again in more gruesome death after gruesome death. Like, it's just fucking horrible. He has three daughters. You, you remember the time Sean Bean came and made that big uh, speech about how horrible YouTube is because that video exists and because his daughter stumbled across it and watched six minutes of him dying over and over again and how she was traumatized and how she will never be the same again because of it and how hard of a time she's having? Yeah, me either. He didn't complain about that because it's fucking stupid. He probably just said, hey, I'm not going to let my daughter watch that video because I'm a good parent and good parents filter their fucking children and don't expect the rest of the world to do it for them. Like, everybody wants to give Quentin Tarantino a hard time, too, because he puts a bunch of blood and shit in his videos. And they're like, what about our youth? What if they watch it? He goes, I don't give a fuck. It's not my job. I'm not, I'm not, he's not making movies for fucking 10-year-olds. He's making movies for himself, what he enjoys. And luckily for him, every fucking buddy else happens to enjoy it, too. If your 10-year-old is watching that movie, the problem is you. If you don't see that, then, I mean, there's a, there's a fucking even bigger issue there. Stop expecting all the celebrities out there and all the people out there to filter your kids. It's not their job. We pay them to entertain us. Okay? That's what we pay them to do. That's what they get paid to do. And fuck, you know what? At the end of the day, if you get paid to entertain, Kathy Griffin's fucking entertained everybody this week. If anything, she deserves a pay raise. Because who the fuck isn't talking about it? God forbid I do any fucking thing on the internet without seeing that story. It's really fucking annoying. Because like I said before, I've never liked her. And now she's being shoved down my goddamn throat. Can I get a fucking, a day without Kathy Griffin and that fucking bloody face? It's not funny. It's horrible. But again, at the end of the day, filter your own kids. I'm begging you. Filter your own fucking kids and stop begging for everyone else to bend to your goddamn will. You, you, you're not that fucking important. None of us are. Get the fuck over it. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to go and follow me on Twitter. I'm on there like every fucking day and I barely have anyone following me. Barely anyone interacts with my post. So it'd be nice to have a few more of you on there, you know, to interact with. And as always, I've been the Gator, and I've been just a little bit pissed off. Peace. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? My meme, yeah. My meme, yeah.